Welcome to SchoolNet's webinar series of past finalists and winners in Microsoft's Partners in Learning Forum in South Africa. I am Fiona Beale and I am hosting this webinar. I would like to introduce you to Ngaka Rale Koela, who will now tell you about his project called Children Who Care. Over to you Ngaka. Hi, my name is Ngaka and uh, this is the project that we work with, Children Who Care. We started off with five schools. It was my school, St. Bennett's, uh, Eunice High School, with uh, Sariki before she left for the university. And then Lereko High School, uh, Lehensi was there, and then she's, he's now uh, promoted as the LF. And then it was a uh, doctor from Dr. Block and Sherin Persen from Itadale. So there were five teachers that were involved in this project. And then we also worked with the University of the Free State and the Dumont University in the UK. So it was a whole lot of collaboration throughout the project. And then the University of the UK, as you can see on the, on the picture there, there is uh, somebody there with a white shirt and the mic. That's the lecturer from the Dumont University who was actually, actually training our learners to do an action research. So Children Who Care, that's the name of the project, and we were working with 180, we started with 180 uh, learners from these five schools. And then we rotated from one school to the next school so that the learners can ex have an experience of what the culture was all about from these different schools. All right, so let me go on to the next slide. We are all a uh, cat, uh, cat teachers, the computer application technology teachers, and we were doing this project as part of the PET, the practical assessment task. So these are the teachers that were working in the project. Uh, I did the draw, I wanted to draw so that you can see the, new, the teachers. All right, so let me go on to the next slide. So what we did uh, with these learners, we started by taking them to one school and because of the big number of these learners, we put them in the hall and then we asked one of the IT company to assist us in the connect connectivity. Uh, they set up the, com the, the, the hall with computers and the internet and then we connected also to uh, the lecturer in the university, the Montfort University in the UK. And then we take them through different activities that you can see here. Uh, these activities will start first by breaking the ice. We gave them an activity. Let me go back to the previous slide. The picture at the bottom there, that was one of the activities that we gave them. They started working from each learner stage stood on a tile and then uh, we asked them to reduce the number of tiles because we, want, we wanted to break the barrier of language, the barrier of culture, the barrier of race. So ultimately at the end, we got them to stand up on one tile, like you can see on, the, on that picture at the bottom there. So that was one of the activities that we gave these learners. And then one activity, the other activity that we gave them was to ask them what is research. And then we took them step by step from explaining what is research and then until we got to the part where we, we learn with them what an action research is. So one of the activities we gave them was to go out into, into the community and ask the community about vulnerable uh, children. So they had to find the definition of vulnerable, how do you identify, and then there were some questions that they had to ask. So they went into the community, they asked the, the priest, they asked the community members, uh, the teachers in the school, the principal, and some of the learners in, 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 in the same school. So we wanted to involve everyone. And then the next session when we came together, we will give them an opportunity to sit in the, in the groups and give a feedback of what they did as an individual in, in, in their schools. 
So we moved from one school to another school as, as, as part of the sessions. Right? <coughs> and then uh, these are the presentations that we uh, gave them during the session because each session started with a presentation and there were some activities that they will do and then after that they will review or have discussion on, 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 on uh, the activities that they just did as a group and then from there we give them a uh, homework to do and um, to take home to do in their individual schools with their teachers so that when they come uh, the next session they come with information uh, because this is part of the practical assessment task we actually have three phases in the practical assessment task phase number one that's where they do the task definition and gathering of the information and then task number two the information that they have gathered they will sit down and then analyze it so when they are finished with task number one we have a rubric that we use which is part of the national rubric that is used in, in, in the computer application, application technology, which is CAT. And then we discuss the, uh, the rubric with them. Uh, after marking, we will sit down and, and do the review so that if they, there's any point where they need to go and uh, revise, they, they actually do that. And then from there, we Bef when we go to session number two, I mean uh, phase two, which is analyzing, we start by teaching them what is analyzing uh, and how do you do analysis. And then one of the activities that we gave them there was we gave them the bits of different colors and then we asked them to sort them in different colors and uh, different sizes. So that uh, helped them to go through the, the process of analyzing and also we work with them to do uh, report writing and then analysis and that uh, report writing was part of phase two which was also assessed uh, as you can see marking rubric phase two and then the, the last part of this was uh, the assessment we assessed their presentation for the final part of the PET. <coughs> And then we, we, we got some challenges in the way because you are working with five schools, learners from different cultures. So we had a big group that we had to accommodate and try to <coughs> take these learners through. And then one of the, uh, one of the things that uh, motivated us to do this project was uh, the use of drugs they are either uh, using or they are affected because in the neighborhood and around the schools, they are drugs that are being used, Daha and other things. And then teenage pregnancy and Lena being abs absent from school now and then. So only to discover that some of them are vulnerable, uh, some of them are affected. So we said, okay, let us use this project to try and uh, bring in what is happening in their community into the curricula. This, this, these are the, the schools that uh, were involved: Lereko, uh, Heatherdale, Dr. Block, and St. Bennett. By w when we did this pro uh, presentation, uh, Eunice was already not part of the project, so there were only four schools that were left. At the moment, there are only three schools: is Heatherdale, Dr. Block, and uh, St. Bennett that are left with the project. Uh, okay, this is the objectives which I have, have already mentioned, but what I, I can add there is that uh, these learners, as they were coming from different schools, they were exposed to the real life situation, they actually tried to solve the real life uh, problem, and we created a platform for them to interact, to, to, to work with uh, learners from different cultures. So they learned in the process and they could uh, actually uh, adapt and be able to work with one another. And then the collaboration between the university was also, uh, it also gave them an opportunity to learn a lot from the Demonfit University. 
So I believe when this learner leave for the for the university and they are given an action research, they won't have a problem of doing an action research because they actually know how to do it. And then as a said teacher, we also learned a lot, and we from different schools work towards the the common goal, not necessarily competing who is the best school, but we work together to achieve one goal. And the community uh, benefited from this project because most of the time we get people coming from outside the community to do the project and try to solve the problem of the community. So this time it was these learners who are part of the community who came up with the solutions. And then there was a lot of collaboration in the process. Okay, this is the, the project description of what, what was or the project all about and how we uh, divided the groups, uh, 25 groups of five learners in each group, for that 180 learners. <coughs> the 21st century skills that we used, the thinking, uh, the critical thinking, group work, the use of technology, creativity, and cross-culture understanding. Let me just uh, focus on this one, the use of technology. We use Skype to communicate with the two lecturers from the Montfield University and then the office package uh, where the learners will do the research and type their findings and do the analysis analysis and then uh, the PowerPoint the photos photo story the Twitter where they share the, 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 the their views also with the student from the, the university yeah uh, these are the learning outcomes because I said this project was based on the the the, the, the peg, so the learning outcomes was part of the, the the project. All right, this is where we actually looked at the challenges, how we try to uh, bring about the how do we call it. Teaching in, 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 in the project. We've got, we had direct teaching, uh, they work independently, and then we had a uh, collaboration where we, they, they were working in a group. <coughs> and then, uh, okay, this is also the same as the previous slide. The use of technology, as I've mentioned, how it impacted in, uh, in, the, in, in the teaching. Uh, one of the things that we, we, we discovered about this as part of the use of ICT, these learners will use their cell phones to exchange information in, in, in Mixit. So that was also part of the ICT that we used. And, and then the reflection, what worked, the collaboration between the school, there was a very big support, all stakeholders, the principal and the the staff were very supportive because most of the time we had to take learners from the school for the whole day to go to one place where they will be lectured and they will be given uh, activities to do and after that they go back to the schools to do the individual activities before the next session. And then uh, there was a real flexibility in, in, uh, in the whole program for the learners and the teachers. And then, what didn't work, uh, that some of the interviews were conducted poorly. Maybe it was one of the problems that uh, our learner said was uh, the interview skill. We maybe needed to coach them on how to do interview, maybe using one-on-one, -on -one so that next time when they go to do the interview, they know exactly what to do. And then the other thing was the, the, the time. The, the time was short uh, because we, we had to do this project with other activities also uh, at the school. And unfortunately, you find that uh, somebody is not only involved in computer application technology, but other activities that you do. So we see this as a change in, 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 in the learners' uh, behavior, in the learners' uh, confidence, because one of the learners uh, from Heatherdale, who was very shy, became one of the outspoken learners.
through this project because he tried by all means to give them opportunity to, to speak out and uh, interact with others. So in conclusion, uh, the impact of this project, I believe, is uh, very huge. Uh, given the, the, the learners opportunity to speak for other learners and also support other learners, it's really a, a very big activity. And I believe it, 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 it makes difference in, in their lives and hopefully it will help them to choose good careers and also support those who need support. And also the, 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 the other people that we, we also involved was the NGOs, the psychologists, Banapele, uh, and also the child line. They were also part of this project. So it was a very big project. And by the way, uh, this project is still continuing. It is still continuing uh, this year. We are on the National Teaching Awards. We participated in the district. We won the district. We went for the province. We won at the province. And then we also participated nationally. So on the 23rd of this month, we will be having Galadina on the 24th at 8. It will be televised live where they will tell us who are the winners for national. Uh, I think that's all, Fiona. Thank you very much. That was Ngaka Relikala telling you about his project, Children Who Care. Thank you for sharing with us on behalf of your group, Ngaka. Goodbye.